Ah, well, fuck my ass. This is Madu Granzert um, on the Super Graphics. Not often that I get to do a Super Graphics system. The Super Graphics was like this upgraded Turbo Graphics 16 that only came out in Japan, and there was only a handful of games for it, so you pretty much mostly had to play your Turbo Graphics 16 games. Requested by Dynastic Hero, he must be a connoisseur of Turbo Graphics 16 stuff. Because Dynastic Hero is a game on Turbo Graphics. Must be a big fan. Alright, so that's a side scroll on Hack and Slash. I like those. A robot. Or a dude in a metal suit. Probably a robot, though. So it's simple. The, the two button swings the sword, the A button, uh, the one button jumps. It would be the A button if I was playing an NES game. Oh, snap, one hit deaths. Okay. Damn, that puts a whole other dynamic on it. It was seeming pretty cool. And it's like, oh, by the way, one shot, you're dead. I thought I was this badass robot, but no. One shot, you're fucking dead. Apparently the robots you're fighting are way more badass. If you bump into them, yo ass is grass. Alright, well, it's not that hard even with that. Not yet, anyway. It might get harder later. Oh, but this guy takes multiple hits. So one up. I could survive a fall like that, but he can't bump into a metal rabbit. Oh! Hmm. I do seem to be getting more powerful. It's a pretty cool background there. Sure. Pseudo 16 bit. I don't know how many bits the registers on the super graphics were, and well, if you watch Clear and Confusion, you know that bits don't mean anything. Oh, I've changed color. That's a P. Snap. Oh, snap. I wonder if I could take, like, a hit before I die now that I've picked up that... I don't know, despite the one-hit deaths and everything, this is actually pretty cool. Ah, oh, hell. Blew off my awesomeness. Oh, dang. Well, I should have known better than that, to be honest. Let's give it another try. I mean, I played Odd World Adventures for over ten minutes. The least I could do is give this a better, a better chance. You die. There we go. Oh! Well, before he would just shoot one thing, and now he's, like, shooting two things. Let me see what he's... That's... Oh, I can change forms? So there's a red guy with a sword, a green guy that shoots, and a blue guy with a spear. All right, we'll stick to the sword guy for now, but... You can jump on enemies, too, apparently. But I think for the boss, I'll want to switch to the guy that... Shoots, I mean. That's an interesting dynamic. That's why you always gotta check out what those extra buttons do. I can safely stay back here and just shoot the guy. He do the most. He didn't even want to attack me unless I get close to him. Uh oh. Oh, he can double jump or something. That's cool. He can like fly. I don't, I don't know if the other ones could do that or if it's just this guy. That's pretty cool. Stage two. Let's see. You can't do it. Oh, but you can hold the attack button to do a shield with that guy. So what does this guy do? Holding the attack button does nothing. Double jumping does nothing. 
Uh, maybe he doesn't have anything special about him. He's just the overall badass with a sword. That is possible. See, I can't get up there, so I gotta switch to this guy. Yeah, a sword's a lot more powerful than these beams, obviously. Yeah, if this guy has a way of doing something special, I haven't figured it out. I like this game, though. No, this game is cool. It's tough, but it's fair, you know? Jumping down there is safe or not. Well, I guess it is since I see that bunny hopping there. You die, silly wabbit. Uh oh. Oh, hell. Ah, oh, dang. Game over. Ah, uh, well, as much as I'd like to play some more, we gotta get to some Zelda still, so, uh, yeah. Let's play some of that. This game is fucking cool. Thank you, Dynastic Hero, for requesting that. It was a cool game. Anyway, see you guys in a little bit with some Zelda.